three grinding and the one uh, Corundum Stone Mill MK180 we use for fine grinding. So product will be flow uh, sucked by the pump, a mono pump, and will be feed at first this way to the fine gr uh, pre grinding, and then we change this little valve, and then we go will go to the other direction to the fine grinding. Yes, to have a look on the mill, so product will come from the top. Um, here we have our milling gap adjustment, and that's the outlet of the mill, and on the bottom the, the engine of the mill. Same for the MK160. So you see the heads of the mills look a little bit different. So this head is a cast iron execution, so this one is usually used in food industry and this execution is a welded execution, so this is usually used in uh, pharmaceutical industry or cosmetic industry. Yes, so in the end we have a scale and a bucket to collect the grinded mustard. With the scale we can calcul calculate the throughput of the, the grinded mustard. So now we have a closer look to the milling gap adjustment. So here we can see the hand wheel and here we can see the scale. So when we turn around the hand wheel you will see the scale uh, will change. And for the pre-grinding we use a milling gap of 0.3. So that means there's a gap with 0.3 millimeters between the rotor and stator disc. Yes, yeah, so that's the pre-mixing tank. In that case, we use a dissolver disc uh, because the dissolver disc has a nice flow. So the seeds uh, don't go to the bottom. So we have a nice flow. Seeds go up and go down again. Yes, so an overview about the parameters of the grinding. So in the end, we will see the whole table filled. So just uh, now we have a quick look. So we have the pre-grinding and the fine grinding. We use different stones. We will measure the inlet temperature and the outlet temperature. We will measure the throughput. We have a look on different grinding gaps. Then we measure the particle size, uh, the feed pressure, and in the end, when we produce the mustard, we will have a look on the density before and after the duration of the mustard. Yes, to have a look on the stones which we use. Um, for the pre-grinding, we use uh, the rotor crane size of 20 so you see you, you see this uh, is a little bit more coarse than the stator stator crane is 36 for fine grinding we use more fine um, rotor and stator so we use rotor with 36 grain and stator with 46 grain Yes, after grinding, we have to deaerate the mustard. So that's the vacuum deaerator. Uh, it's size B1. So usually a product comes in through this uh, valve. Then this is the distribution system. The product has to go through the distribution plate, through the sieve. We have here uh, holes of 1.5 millimeter. And then product will flow down and will be discharged through the pump and through this pipe here. And then we collect it in the front. This product flows in here and has to go through the holes. Now we have a look inside. On the bottom we see a little vortex breaker and we see here a side glass so we can see how the product flows down. That's our discharge pump. 
it's a mono pump. And the blue pipe is the connection to the vacuum pump. So that's our vacuum pump. It's a watering vacuum pump. And here you can see two sensors. So this is these are the level sensors. So it's possible to do a continuous duration when we set a value, for example, about 50% filling. Yes, so we have different distribution disks for different mustards. So for a normal table mustard, we can use the standard sieve with 1.5 millimeter holes. In case we produce a sweet mustard with bigger seeds, um, we have to use a long hole sieve because the seeds are that big. So this sieve would be plugged and through this um, holes, the seeds can go through. Yes, now we have a look on the ingredients. So for the table mustard, we use the oriental brown mustard seeds and the yellow mustard seeds. They are a little bit bigger than the brown seeds. We use vinegar, sugar and salt, our spices, turmeric, sweet pepper, coriander and pimento and water. Now we fill all ingredients into the soaking tank. Now the vinegar. Then we start our mixer. Then add the powders and the seeds. Yes, so now we have to mix a little bit so that the uh, um, seeds get soaked. So usually we do it uh, minimum 30 minutes. Then we measure the start temperature. Then before we start the production of mustard, we have to check um, the zero point of the mill. So to check the zero point, we just start the mill for a few seconds and then close slowly the, the hand wheel, the milling gap, and then when we are at zero at contact, we will hear a scratchy noise. That means rotor and stator are in contact. So this is very important to do the zero gap adjustment. Or the now you can hear the scratchy noise. Yes, so zero gap is good. So we open again to 0.3 millimeters for the pre-grinding. And we start the mill. And we start the pump. Our pre-grinding product goes in. Now we make a final number. 
case we have to put back the pre-grounded master into the soaking vessel. And then start again the pump and start the mill for fine grinding. Stator. So now we have positive around 0 0.1. Uh, at the moment we have product between the rotrans stator. We can close the milling gap. So our first setting is contact zero. inside and then we go to negative gap and we see we have a much more fine product yes so before we can go into the filling line we have to deaerate the mustard fill it to hop on the top then we start the vacuum pump Now 
we start the discharge pump and we get our final product, a nice aerated muscle. So now the question is, how can we say um, if the duration was successful or not? So what we do, we measure the density before duration and after duration. So that's the pycnometer. Uh, it has a calibrated volume of 100 milliliter. So we fill the mustard inside and weight it. So we have 91.1 gram before duration, then we take a little sample of the deurated mustard and weight it again and you see we have around 106.8 grams. So to have a look visu uh, visually on the duration, so before duration we see a lot of air bubbles inside the product. So this was our density and after duration so no more air bubbles so it was a good duration yes so have a quick look on the settings of the milling so the pre-grinding was conducted on the mk160 stones were 20 36 inlet temperature was around 26 degrees uh, outlet temperature was three degrees more throughput was around 500 kg per hour the grinding gap was positive, 0.3 millimeters, and we had around 0 bars feed pressure. When we go to fine grinding, inlet temperature was around 30 degrees. Um, with the milling gap at contact, we had a temperature of 35 degrees. If we close the gap even more, we get more energy inside, so we were at 38 degrees. At that time, we had around 140 kg our throughput. Our particle sizes which we measured were 39 um, micrometer and 21 micrometer with the closed milling gap or the negative milling gap. Uh, for duration we used the standard sieve with 1.5 millimeter holes. So usually um, in the industrial scale as you saw in the presentation we use a heat exchanger before duration to cool the product down. Um, in this video we didn't use it. Yes, and here we saw already the densities. So, in case you want to do a sweet mustard, uh, Bavarian style. So, that's the recipe. So, we use brown seeds, and yellow seeds. We use a dark vinegar. We use water. We use uh, spices, onion powder, cloth powder, pimento, sweet pepper, a lot of brown sugar, so we get the sweetness, caramel color for our brown color, and a little bit of salt. Yes, so that's the brown sugar. We have put on the ingredients, the water, the salt, the dark vinegar, in that case we use uh, a bright vinegar, but usually you use dark vinegar. The caramel color, the spices, the brown seeds, so this, this is the black seeds, and this is the yellow seeds. Now again we fill all uh, the ingredients into the pre-mixed vessel, the soaking tank, and when we have everything inside, Again, for around 30 minutes, uh, minutes yellow seeds. Black
and spices. the master flavor flush it a little bit with the oil Yeah, 
Mexico. Alright. Yes, so now we only have to do a mixing times um, till some lumps of the master powder are dissolved. So it's only a few minutes. Then we measure again the inlet temperature, it's 26 degrees. We measure the particle size of the, um, of the pre-mixed uh, mustard because, uh, yeah, we have a pre-milled mustard. Check what's our feed. Bites. So we have 64 microns starting particle size. Start the mill. Start the pump. Yes, sir. We have found that we have Now we have product improvement status, then we can close the mill again. So we go again. Minus 0.15. Again, we have to deaerate this mustard too. So we use the standard sieve with 1.5 millimeter holes. And then in the end we have to discharge it. After the deuration. Yes, that's it. So I'm finished at that point. I hope it was interesting for you. And I will give the word back to Martin. Thank you for your attention.